MOSFET characteristics. So in this session, we can understand the what is the uh, characteristics of MOSFET. Okay, so MOSFET is nothing but uh, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Okay, uh, next. Uh, so this is the simple, simple uh, some introduction regarding this MOSFET. Uh, okay, MOS metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. This is also called as a JFET. Okay, it is a type of insulated gate uh, field effect transistor. That's why it is called as the other name of this. MOSFET is called IGFET. It is a type of insulated gate field effect transistor. That's why it is known as IGFET. Okay. It is having some few advantages and also disadvantages. So MOSFET is having high switching applications. It can be used for high switching applications. MOSFET is having low switching losses and high conduction losses. So conduction losses are high. That's why MOSFET cannot be used for conduction purpose. So only for switching applications, high frequency switching applications, so the MOSFET can be used. So FETs having MOSFET, uh, the FET field effect transistor, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor have few disadvantages like uh, high drain resistance, moderate input impedance and slower operation. This is the one of the disadvantages. Of this. Okay, it, even though it is having some disadvantages, it's having some advantages also that is called eye switching applications of it. Okay, uh, conduction lasts are less, so that's why the MOSFET is generally used for. So, wherever eye switching frequency applications are required, so that applications the MOSFET can generally use. It can be operated in two modes. So what is uh, means uh, first one is called depletion mode, and uh, second one is called enhancement mode. There are two types of modes, depletion mode and enhancement mode. So this is a simple construction regarding to the MOSFET. Generally, the MOSFET is having three terminals, sir. same as a transistor. Transistor is having emitter, base, collector, no? same way here also the MOSFET is having three different types of terminals. So one is called source, this is called source, and second one is called gate, and this is called drain. Source, gate, gate, drain. Only common terminal is called gate. Okay. So emitter, base, collector, and transistor is here. Uh, source, gate, drain. This is called source and gate, uh, gate and a drain. So this gate is and uh, this uh, MOSFET, uh, this is isolated by silicon dioxide, SiO2. This layer is called SiO2, the gate is isolated by SiO2, silicon dioxide. And here is doped by N type, and here also is doped by N types. This is called P type. So, this is a, some simple construction, and is a simple symbol, symbol of a MOSFET is represented like this. So, gate, source, drain, enhancement mode. This is one example of enhancement mode, and the depletion mode is also there. So this is called a uh, symbol uh, about uh, MOSFET. And the next, uh, the char characteristics of MOSFET can be obtained by using this circuit. So this is, uh, I'm already explained, this is layer is called SiO2 layer. The gate is uh, separated by SiO2 layer. When this VG, that is called this source is passed to, this is called VGG or VGS. It is connected, the source is connected positive terminal to the gate and a negative terminal to the source. That's why it is also called as a VGS. The VGS positive is connected here. That's why here positive means simultaneously negative polarity is uh, placed on this. That's why this is called N channel. And this is, is called P. Here P is connected here like this. Okay. And then this is called drain, drain pulse source. This drain through source is connected to here, pass to here, connected here, this layer uh, drain. And automatically, it's, uh, this inside, this is called in layer. Okay. This is one of the simple circuit diagram. This is called gate and drain and uh, so, source. Okay. So these are the characteristics. So these are the characteristics we can understand by using this slide. So yeah, so this VDS versus ID, VDS, this is called VDS, VD drain 
to source connection. This is called VDS. And then next uh, ID, this is called drain current ID. So ID versus VDS, this is called uh, characteristics of a MOSFET. ID versus VDS, ID, drain current versus VDS voltage with respect to VGS voltage. Different values of gate to source voltage. And then what is the characteristics of MOSFET we can understand. So the, according to this, uh, um, you can, uh, this uh, region, so there are three different types of regions are there. So first one is called cutoff region, second one is called homic region, and the third one is called saturation region. There are three different types of regions present in the characteristics. So your homic region, in this region, current and voltage are approximately proportional. That's why it is called as the ohmic region. So voltage is increasing. Simultaneously, current is also increasing. Voltage is increasing in this direction. Current is also increasing in this direction. This region is called ohmic region. According to the Ohm's law, V is proportional to I. That's, the, uh, say, that's why V is proportional to I. That's why the voltage is increasing. Current is also increasing. That's why this region is called ohmic region. And then cutoff region, VGS, that is called gate to source. VGS is equal to zero. That below characteristics, VGS is equal to zero, that characteristics is called cutoff region. And then when we are increasing the voltage VGS, VGS, when we are increasing the voltage VGS, the current ID and VDS are increasing. Current ID versus VDS characteristics are changing like this. So this is the region is called saturation region. This region is called saturation region. Because of saturation means, uh, this, even though this voltage is increasing in this direction, the current cannot be increasing. The current is constant, for example, so VGS is equal to 2 volts, the current is constant 10 milliamps, 10 milliamps is constant, even the voltage is increasing 6, 8, 10 uh, to the dig, drain to source voltage. Okay, that's why it is called as a saturation region. This region is called ohmic region and this region is called cutoff region. So these are the characteristics uh, of MOSFET. This can be analyzed by using PSPY software. So in this piece by software, we have to connect like this. So this is called the MOSFET is having three terminals, gate, source, drain. So this is called drain current, drain current, and this is called VDS, drain to source voltage. So like this, we have to connect, okay? So like this, you have to connect like this, and this way, the gate drain to source, in between drain source, one source is called VDS, and in a similar way, gate to source, one source is present, that is called VGS. So this can be experiment can be the MOSFET characteristics can be understand by using so one software that is called PSPY software. Okay. So PSPY software from, from this we can we can easily understand this concept. So go to PSPY schematic and uh, open like this PSPY schematic. In this PSPY schematic, this is called get new part. Get new part, enter get new part. The name of the MOSFET is called M break, right here, M break, B R E A K M break N. So like this new element uh, display like this. So select this element, this is called MOSFET and place here. So like this, okay. So this uh, MOSFET is terminals are like this. So gate, drain, Gate, gate drain your gate your drain your source okay so like this uh, this is called MOSFET connection so we can connect to the according to the circuit diagram so according to this uh, circuit diagram we can understand the cache first here we one volts is required uh, gate to source voltage is required that is called vgs and uh, drain to source voltage is required on vds so this is when we can connect like this so take vds from this library uh, are here, otherwise directly you will get from here. So this is called VGS, one VGS is required and here also one VGS is required. And then uh, like this, and then take uh, by using uh, draw wire, connect uh, this to here and uh, this terminal to here uh, of second uh, voltage source. Uh, this is called first voltage source. And uh, like this it is connect like this in this way. So like this second terminal of the gate, this is called gate and uh, so source and drain 
and this source is connector source terminal is connect here and this uh, <coughs> terminal connect in this way this is called mosfet it is mosfet connection and take one ground also ground ever earth so connect like this so this is called what is this vg s vgs so name like change like this vgs vgs so vgs save alter and then okay so vgs understood vgs and then next uh, this is called vds drain to source okay uh, right here vds this is called vds save alter then okay Okay, clear. So this is called VGS and VDS. And before going to analysis, uh, first save this MOSFET. Uh, MOSFET, save like this. Okay, and then go to analysis is very, very important. So if you any, any mistake in analysis, it is very difficult to get the characteristics of MOSFET. So here we are, where we have to get the characteristics of MOSFET uh, means across the uh, uh, drain, uh, drain current ID. So drain current, that's why I take one current marker and place edge of the uh, this MOSFET terminal, drain terminal, edge of the MOSFET drain terminal. Okay, that's why this is called, this is called drain, D ID, ID current. Okay, so go to analysis, uh, try to understand this is very important, go to analysis and uh, set up and enable DC sweep and uh, DC sweep right here voltage source voltage source is called VDS this voltage source is called VDS VDS right here VDS and the starting value is called 0 uh, ending value is called 10 volts like this right here 10 volts and increment by 0 0.1 millivolts 0 0.1 millivolts okay then next step next step take voltage source and write here another source is called vgs the name of source is called vgs okay vgs and then the starting value is called zero and the end value is called five volts and next uh, increment by 0 0.5 Okay, increment by 0 0.5 and enable nested sweep. So why? Because of uh, to get multiple voltage waveforms at uh, 0 volts, at 2 volts like this uh, to get uh, characteristics. VGS is equal to 1 volts, VGS is equal to 2 volts, VGS is equal to 3 volts. Like this to get multiple characteristics. So we have to use a nested sweep analysis. Nested sweep analysis. By using nested sweep analysis only we can understand. So here also don't forget linear. Voltage source, linear, and name is called VGS, and start value 0, end value 5 volts, and increment by 0 0.5, enable nested sweep. Oh, then OK, close. So understood. So go to analysis and uh, setup. Uh, enable DC sweep, tick mark here. And then DC sweep, right here, voltage source VD. A voltage source tick mark here and right here this voltage source VDS here and start value 0 and the end value is 10 volts and increment by 0 0.1 millivolts and the press this is called linear and the sweep type is called linear and the next nested sweep uh, enable our uh, uh, mark tick mark take tick mark as voltage source and name VGS start value 0 end value 5 volts and increment by 0 0.5 and linear and enable nested sweep and then okay these are the uh, analysis of this mosfet so after this analysis uh, press this simulate icon and then uh, this characteristics are open like this so these are the characteristics of mosfet same as uh, our theoretical concept so for different values of vgss vgs voltages id versus vds id versus vds this is called id current 100 microamps current, 200 microamps current, 300 microamps current. This is called ID and uh, next, this is called VDS. This is called this, um, this X axis is called VDS like this. X axis is called VDS 
and y axis is called id milliamps current so 0 volts 1 volts 0 volts 1 volts 2 volts 3 volts 4 volts like this these are the characteristics 0 volts 1 volts 2 volts 3 volts these are the um, vds voltages okay and uh, vgs this is called vgs 0 and vgs 1 vgs 2 3 4 like this so up to vds is called end value vds is nothing but uh, vds different values of vgs vgs is called 5 volts so 0 1 2 3 4 5 like this this is called so we'll get like this okay this is 5 volts 4 volts 3 volts 2 volts so 1 volts less than 1 volts 0 0.5 okay and this increment by 0 0.5 volts no? so 0 0.5 0 0.1 1.5 2 2.5 3 like this up to here 5 volts so like this we will get the characteristics of mosfet you can understand by using this p spice okay uh, here this region up to 4 volts up to 4 volts this region up to 4 volts ohmic region this region is called ohmic region because of this voltage increasing current is also increasing that's why it is called as a ohmic region up to here up to this curve understood and the next region next region what is this next region cutoff region so this region is called cutoff region cutoff region this region is called cutoff region this region is called ohmic region and this region is called saturation region so like this we will get the characteristics of uh, mosfet by using p spice okay